Hello guys and welcome back to the subjugation of Ireland. We've also taken over the Lannisters and uh, Cumbrians, but yes, the Ulstrians want to rise up. We cannot allow that at all. Hand of them harsh treatment. Yes, it costs quite a bit, but unfortunately we need to do it. We need to ensure that the Irish do not rise up. Now I think we can remove a few men from here in order to ensure that that other siege commences. But we do need a bit more manpower. Quest additional forces, please. Six supported clergy ask for contribution. Property charters ask for contribution because we do need to uh, repay a loan, which will increase our income anyway. That's the ideas we have. Very good. All sieges are firing on all fronts. Very darn good, I must say. Ah, gains an influence, you say? Wow. Make me money and I will not give a shit. These guys will pay off my debts. So we would have taken over the Irish and stolen their money, which is very good. How's our extension going? Ah, very good. We'll have them cord. So I can take that and that. I might give this to the vassal, just so I don't have to do everything myself. The aggressive expansion will be very high. Breaking with the Douglases. Hmm. Ooh. Yes, it's gaining stability. That will actually help our realm. That's a no-brainer, really. Free stability, make peace with the Douglases. Yeah, sure, whatever. Get these cores through, that's even better. Less overextension and such. Not really anything negative about it. Right, so military spending, let's raise it a bit so we do get some extra army maintenance going through to help the guys do their things. Reinforce and such, get the new blood into the front, front lines and such. Right, come on my dudes. We want an Africa to colonize. We need to solidify our realm fast. Very good. So we get you over there to help out with that one. But you, Torment, you are to be annexed. Yes. And taking your money. Very good. Right, so we can repay off some loans. Again, even more money into the coffers. We'll rise you up and start calling you as soon as we can. And how about those Irish? Can we... Uh... Can we need zero? Oh yes, it's not part of that whole uh... thing, is it? What about this one? Oh, they're not cause. But you guys over here could be. So we'll make that. We'll core all of your land into cores. And what we'll do is we'll give you to you to the clergy. And you to the clergy. That way they're a lot less likely to revolt and they will give me some cash. Which, you know, I I need. Ah yes, Scotland. Scotland the Great. A shame about the pale, though. I would... Oh, France has a regency. What does that mean for their heir? Oh, Marie de Anjou is now the uh, regent. Thingy majigity. Okay. Tyrone, give me yourself and all of your money when you're ready. Battle of the North Oh, I have to fight their navies and things. Right, you're... There, let's get our navy down there. Very good. Nobody's risen up yet. This is going to be an issue if it comes through, though. Of course, I hope that it doesn't. Brittany, you're trying to get vassalized? Silly Brittany. You don't want to get vassalized, Brittany. Looks like the ISIS flag. 
We're defeating ISIS. Yes. Glorious. That's exactly what we wanted to defeat ISIS. You know, who knew we had to go to Ireland to defeat ISIS? Right, money. Yep, that gets rid of any potential uh, coalitions. Which we wanted. Which you we will give to the other guys because, quite simply, I uh, I can't be dealing with all of this nonsense. Oh, they've got even more money. Excellent. So my dude here, he has all of his stuff. You know, he's just going to core it and such. He's already cored that during the war. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We can't actually afford to core you yet. 73 for Tyrone. No longer in debt. Glorious. We'll have our army and we'll uh, have it maintenance. To quit me losing money. Why? Probably something to do with corruption. I, I don't... Oh no, reinforcements and such is going to be very expensive for the initial start. Right, you guys. Protect trade in the North Sea. Very good. Let's have a bit of a navy, shall we? 18 of your, 6 of your. Stick you over there. Very good. Very, very, very good. I don't want any ulcers to rise up, so we'll put our army there, and hopefully that'll keep them at bay for a bit. Barely. Uh, these are the real issues. Manpower needs to be at least 50%, which is about... Uh, sailors. Yeah, 8,000 odds. Quite high, basically. Quite high indeed. So we'll make sure none of these guys rise up. We have got a lot of military power in the bank, so I don't think we'll be seeing any rebellions anytime soon. Unless I'm stupid by accident. Yes. What are the chances of that? Me being stupid. Base value or plus six for administrative. Uh, constructions. Diplomacy will also be spent on that. We need to get rid of it. Manpower at least that. So it has to be manpower, otherwise we're fucked. Basically. Barris is caught. Blame the king. Oh. Wait, so if we didn't reinforce the army, which we are currently doing by a few thousands, we wouldn't... We would get there faster, basically. Okay. That's fine by me. Wait, is 72 enough? Oh, 69 now. Very good. I thought it was 73, which is why I was delayed. Ah, prestige. Very good. Well, let's see what we can actually do with Kildar. Maybe they can help me out a bit. What can we do with you? It was scooted. 24 ducats. Vacage rulers. Place a relative on the throne, but their loot is nice. Very high. They don't like me. That's an issue with your pets. Give them a royal marriage. That'll fix that immediately. And we'll improve relations with the bastards. Fitzgerald. Maybe we should have the Fitzgeralds in charge. Instead of the Stuarts. Fitzgerald, yes. Glorious name. Some names are just glorious. That's how they work. Very good. Four, four, four. We need to get about eight thousand. Eight thousand before that gets. It's only up half of time per year. Every extension is at least twenty-five percent. Yes. Every extension is less than fifty percent. Yes. So if it goes below, which it will very shortly, or Sligo, are you saying we'll fix this? No longer have the peasants war, is that what you're saying? It won't tick up. I hope that's what you're saying. No, I don't want any peasants war. Peasants are vile. Ah. 
That's very, uh, very soon for an Iberian wedding, I must say. The power block of uh, Iberia is going to be big. Brittany is already strong and allying the, uh, the French. So, why do you dislike me? Oh, that's 52. That's very high. <laughs> very. Very, very high. Indeed. Oh, at least Scotland's great. Can't really complain. We did a very, a very fast uh, rushing the enemy base. Took over the entire island. Well, we haven't got uh, the pale, but I, I could have, but I just went for this stuff instead. Unrest. Yeah. You sure we can't uh, get the Irish on board yet? Can we have zero? Are you sure? Of course, yes. They, they need to get everything done first. It needs to be the special type of cord in order to work out. But Sligo should help us out a lot. If we start giving these guys to the uh, the holy folk. They'll be a lot less likely to rebel as well under those circumstances. If we can take them down without having to spend any more military power, I'd really like that. Like, seriously, I'd enjoy it very much. Get the Irish accepted. Come on, Sligo. Let's do it. Nice, Sligo. Let's get our extension down, Sligo. And remember, do not take the military tech. We might need the military points. For rebellions and such. Ah, yes. You can fuck off. We'll let that go down naturally now. I don't need to be spending all of my points. We've spent a lot of stuff. But it would get rid of the potential rebellious behavior of the Irish a lot. A lot lower. Let it go naturally. I'd rather spend the military points delaying them than the uh, diplo points. I've just used so many diplo. Seems we can now get rid of. Uh, let's rebuild our manpower. Why are we still losing lots of money? That is. That is annoying. Should we make a lot more free trade? Five. Ugh. France, your favourite allies because you come to the aid against Burgundy, Navarre's, and all their other friends. Yeah, I'll accept it because it's not really going to do anything for me, is it? Oh no, my war exhaustion is going to go up. I should have waited. Oh, it's going up points. 0.00. Not that bad, dude. Oh, that's good. That's good enough. I would have liked the English to die. Oh, the Austrians are now taking down as well. Very good. Really? Um, yeah, go home at war. That's a shame. Huge shame. So we can't accept the English. English. It's not going down. As much war. Irish. We want the Irish and the English accepted as soon as we can. Right, go to the clan. Go keep them at bay. What we want to be doing is keeping the. Uh, British Isles loyal. Oh shit. Helmet of War. Don't lose me, my ships, they're expensive. Very expensive toys. Uh, 
Uh, one more time we'd get rid of a lot of nonsense. Do it. Ah, very good. Please, we can take a military tech now, which, you know, is good. Discovered a new little toy of the military. There we go, we're all up now, so we should be making a bit more money. Heretic, two paper in front. Oh, I don't want to gain unrest, fuck that. Seriously, fuck that. France, you're going to win, or are you going to lose? Go win. We have loads more dudes. My troops really don't count, but we still have loads more dudes. Go and fight. Hurting my trade. Yes, don't want to do any issues with these ships. Very good ships. We need a strong navy. That's what we need. A very, very big, strong navy. Inverness! Really, so you're going to go f claiming Inverness? Seriously. You're that stupid. Silly AI. They don't know what they're doing today. The fools. I'm not so great at power. No, we're not that far behind. At least England's not. That would really show us up. Those darn English scrum. Screw those English. I guess we should build stuff. I can't. We need tech to know what a temple is. Even though temples have been built since ancient fucking Greece. We can't build them in 1456 because we need to have a little bit more tech. Oh yes, of course. That just makes so much sense. I've also heard of uh, Robin Hood. There was a lot of, you know, churches and things, storing gold, taxation and such. Yet, no, we, no, we haven't discovered it, have we? Ah. At least the rebel uh, um, thing is done. We'll start this limerick, and we should be able to do these guys over here. Get the Irish accepted, then. Yeah. Get West Island done, uh, call West Island. That's you, you, and you all done. East, 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 east. So, West Island, they are now ours. We can give them away to the clergy to make us some money. Very good. Very good. Very good. There's extra 0.6 ducats. And they're still not even right at the top. We demand administrative power. Yes. Uh, no, none of that nonsense. Cool diets, we don't need any of this stuff. Demand military support, it's monarch points. Which if I don't take them, I'm kind of wasting. I'll just keep it where we are. We'll get Tyrone and we'll get an extra 0.4 ducats there, probably. If they're all around the same sort of level. Went down. Why did you go down? So, Irish, can we accept them? Good! They play power cost, but good! The Irish are accepted peoples now. Within our lands. The Irish. Okay, Kildare, let's get your relations up. We already are, okay, and then we'll uh, annex you when we can. 57. Oh, well, as soon as we, uh, as soon as we have all of our shit together, we can do that. Get rid of the war. But that's all to do for this episode. Thank you guys for watching the fourth episode, I think, of the Scottish campaign. Hopefully we'll be a little bit chilled out, and over the next couple of videos, I will annex these guys and, uh... Get our economy stable, a bigger army than England. Maybe we will have another go at them. But yeah, see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, I guess. And bye bye.